Together, the individual ports along the Texas coast move more cargo than any other state. They provide direct and indirect employment, supplying $450 billion in state economic activity. So, when hurricanes and other extreme weather events hit the state, our port system, and therefore our economy, can be adversely affected. Is our port system resilient? Can the measures that are in place now be improved? TxDOT really wanted to know how can we improve operations? What do we need to do better to help a port get back into operation sooner? And obviously, a hurricane impacts not just the port, but large areas around. And TxDOT must come in and move all the debris, get roads open back up, enable emergency workers to access the port if necessary or surrounding areas, block off areas where they've got damaged roadways or flooding and make sure that no one goes down that route. And so TxDOT does a lot of different things. Uh, the maintenance aspect, the emergency response. We believe this is a time we have to seriously look into the resilience of our post systems. And uh, uh, in addition to the ports themselves, and also we have to look into the supporting infrastructure. For example, highways, railroads, pipelines, and uh, even to a degree, the electric power grid, because they are all connected with each other. Part of what we were doing was uh, obtaining data, uh, conducting interviews, workshops, surveys to gather this information and then to help develop a tool that could help ports and TxDOT measure the resilience and the economic impact of, of an event. So they can use the tool to assess the resilience of the system and to identify areas for improvement and so that they can make better investment decisions. What this tool does is evaluates how resourceful are you as a port in handling these kinds of conditions. And it eventually will give them a score in terms of their robustness, redundancy, their rapidity, uh, and their resourcefulness. Based on our research findings, we developed 33 recommendations and for the legislature, and for the port authorities, and also for Texas Department of Transportation to act on. TxDOT has a lot of functions it performs in keeping the public safe, and the more it understands about what the port itself is doing and what the port needs, the better it can do its job. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.